Hi everyone, welcome back. Hopefully you're having a good day, but this is gonna be an interesting video because I wanna get out there and discuss a few things. And for those who watch the tech plays, you're watching the markets and you're trying to do your own thing, you're trying to pick your own stocks, you're trying to crush it, you wanna become a multi-millionaire, this video is for you. Because not every pick you're going to do is going to lead to the, the massive amount of gains and those hundreds of thousands of dollars. And I want you to know you're not alone in that. Even the best analysts out there miss, and they can miss big time. But more importantly, I'm gonna show you in this video how I believe, and there's no guarantees because I'm gonna tell you up front about how some of the biggest people miss, but how I'm going to be going with my largest investment ever. And I think you're gonna to wanna to stick around because I think you're gonna like what I got for you. And we're gonna talk about that. I'm gonna let you know way ahead of time. That way you're not surprised. So you don't come up and say, well, why didn't you tell the community? Why didn't you tell the family? You're gonna know all about it. So let's get through this. Let's talk about this. Let's have a little discussion, a little heart to heart because this is for the folks out there that maybe you, you didn't time everything right. Maybe not every position made a ton of money. Trust me, I come out here, I put predictions out there on probably hundreds of different of stocks over the years. And not everyone's going to hit. It's always funny to me when somebody comes on and says, what happened to this one or that one? Hey, your NEO stock didn't crush. But I don't hear anything about how we doubled our money on Lucid. I don't hear about the money we made on Tesla. I don't hear about the 90 grand to 100 grand we made in 2021 into 2022 on leverage. I hear about the misses. And that's what you hear. You hear about the misses. People like to key in and cherry pick some of the misses. Well, I want you to know that no pro is that good that they get 100%. Even the best people on Wall Street, just in case you do not know, they'll hit about 70%. And that's the top of the top. This is the cream of the, the crop. These are the best. These are the ones that are earning and they're doing well. And does that mean they're doing that for 20, 30 years? No. But, you know, when you look at it, anything over 10 to 20 years, only about 10% can even beat the S&P 500. So keep that in mind. All right. So, folks, we got a lot of things to do. And I'm over here doing my thing, trying to make tons of cash as well. Uh, and I'm going to be doing other moves. But for those who don't know, I have a Patreon down below. And I've been putting some new stocks out, loaded up the new uh, portfolio, made moves. You can come over and join. And if you haven't, we have a private Discord and everything over there that you can become part of. So take advantage of that. And of course, uh, for those that didn't know, Moomoo right now giving a $100 cash coupon. And this is awesome. All you got to do is put 100 bucks in, get five free stocks, $100 cash coupon, which allows you, if you buy $1,000 worth of stock, takes $100 off the price. So basically, you get $100 for free. I would just do the grand, get 15 free stocks, get the $100 cash co reward coupon, Buy a thousand of whatever. I don't care what it is. You can buy VOO. They'll take a hundred dollars off. So basically, you get a hundred dollars free for that, plus fifteen free stocks. So it's awesome. You really want to get a good deal. Get a free share of Tesla or Google, plus the hundred dollar cash, plus fifteen free stocks if you put five grand in there. That is the best I've ever seen them offer. So folks, if you haven't taken advantage of this, please do. And of course, a more simple one here. Uh, you can see this right here. It is up to twelve free stocks. All you gotta do is put a dollar in or more over at Weeble, links down below. Folks, take advantage of those. Now, let's get into the first things first. You hear this. This is what we're seeing out there. You have all these people out there, oh, what's going on? S&P 500 cent to enter a bull market as the Fed fuels dip buying surge. Folks, the S&P 500 has been rolling up. Yes, we are almost in a brand new bull market, all right? That's according to going up 20% from the bottom. That's closing 20% up. So we're, we're, we're right there. And I, I got to tell you, I'm not one who thought we would get out there and be up over 20-something percent. Now, I'm not going to be surprised to see it, but I definitely didn't expect that. I thought we would have uh, not this big of a push, but there was a lot more liquidity and money out there during this last 12 months that absolutely helped with it. All right, so uh, Kathy Woods, ARK Invest misses out on NVIDIA's powerful rally. Dump stock too early, citing high valuation. So even her analysts and Kathy Wood and everybody working back then, they said, look, NVIDIA back in the beginning of this year is just overvalued. And all right, this is back in January. Look how much it's up since January. Remember, this is Kathy Wood. She was one of the top, top analysts out there. And her hedge fund just kicking butt back in the day. It was one of the top, I think it was like one of the top five. 
So now they they sell Nvidia. It's just too overvalued. And this is back in January down here. Now it's up 173 percent, and everybody's still buying. And so when you see that, and I want you to realize this, this is one of the hottest, biggest stocks this year. Kathy Wood and Ark sold it all the way back in January. What's my point on this? Am I here to yell at Kathy Wood? Absolutely not. I totally get it. You can look at the P.E. ratio right now, 203. Are you kidding me? That's less than a half a percent estimated return next year based on current P.E. It's terrible. It's absolutely horrible. So I get what she's doing. She's saying, look, back then, even cut this in half, cut this price in half. That's still, you're still over 100 for the PE. It's ridiculously high, so I get it. Now, what they didn't expect is the AI push that we got this year. AI just exploding on the scene. And I don't think they expected that. Now it's getting hot and everybody's ordering. And who's the company's gonna make the most off of that? NVIDIA. They took that revenue, what was it? Seven up to like 11 billion estimate now. It's crazy high. They, they increased uh, Q2. It's going to be fantastic. All right. So that's priced in, though. That's priced in. Remember, this was up 400 and something at one point. Now it's down a little bit. And we'll see where this thing goes. But I, I bring this up not to make fun of Kathy Wood. Obviously, I got my stocks that I've done very well on. But I, you don't hear about that. You only, you only hear people talk about the ones you missed on. Oh, well, Mo missed on Neo. Yeah, of course I did. I still got Neo, and I still think it'll hopefully rebound as they continue to increase their exposure around the world, and they do their thing. And, of course, it is the largest loser I've ever had in my portfolio. But I still like it. I want to be in the EV industry. China has the largest economy, so that's one, I, that's one that I'm in that I'm going to be patient with. We'll see how it works out. Now, for some of the other ones... Uh, Tesla is another one that I love to hold on to. I'll always have Tesla shares. Uh, I really think they're going to be the leader in the EV space. So for me, those two combination of stocks give me, Tesla gives me exposure all over the world. Neo, I hope, will as well as they expand aggressively through 2025 and they get into the U.S. cell, and that's their goal. So we'll see. They continue to expand the factories, production deliveries, and hopefully as they combine with some other companies over there with some collaborations, They'll do some wonderful things. Remember, Tesla went up 1,000% in a 12-month period years and years and years after they got started because it took time. I'm hoping for the same for NEO, but you never know. So my point is, if you're out there picking your stocks and you got one that just <laughs> lays an egg and it's not all unicorns, rainbows, farting Skittles, well, then don't worry about it. You're not alone, folks. All people out there, all investors have ones that just don't hit. And that's okay. Now, the, the important thing is to make sure you have a well-diversified portfolio. Make sure you have an exit strategy for every single stock so you never get in the situation where you're down 50, 60, 70, 80 percent. All right? So that's an issue. And I get it. If you got one, you're like, hey, you know what, Mo? I'm going to DCA into it, and I don't care if it goes down or not. I'm going to keep buying well, you got to know ahead of time that you're going to do it, but you don't put all your money into one company. You just don't do that. Uh, it's too risky, and there's a lot of other things you can do. And I also believe that right now, moving forward for the foreseeable future, uh, I think a well-rounded portfolio should have bonds and equities in them. All right, And I, I think a little bit of crypto as well. I know some people will disagree with that, but that's my take. All right, but that's a whole different ball game. So I did want to bring that up to everybody, let you know some things going on. Then uh, we also talk about the S&P 500. I wanted to show you this because there's a lot of things going on out in the market. I'm gonna pull this thing up here, get this thing to work right. And then I wanted to bring this up to you. Take a look at this. This is the bull market they were talking about. We need to close above 20%. We have not closed above. We are at 19.72%. Than yesterday, 19.48. And a lot of people know, and we'll see, this could, and this is back in October. I did not think the lows were in yet. I thought at least we'd retest the 3,600 level if we had a recession. I said if we didn't have a recession, we'll probably get down around there. But if we got a recession, we'd go below it. That was my original way back in the day. And, it's, and that's the other thing. When you have, when you're looking at the data at that time, it, you're going with what you have. Moving forward now, since those originals, what do we know? We know that the, the people out there are spending money like it's water. They're running up credit card debt to record levels. People, they saved 300 billion roughly on student loans they did not pay. 
and they still haven't paid because it keeps getting pushed back and back and back. We know that's coming very, very soon in under 60 days. There's a lot of things changing, and these, weren't, these are things that no one expected to happen. And so what's my thing about that? Is it an excuse? No, it's not an excuse. It's just part of the, the journey. It's the variables out there we can't control. But I will tell you this, no matter what positions you take out there, no matter what stocks, bonds, uh, crypto you buy, you can't control everything. So what you can do is just, like I said, have good strategies for investing. Are you a DCA into them? Are you gonna have trailing stop losses? Are you gonna buy some put or call options, depending on what, if you're a bear or a bull, to protect yourself? There are a lot of things you can do. But know this, you have no idea, no matter how much research you do, and how good it may seem, and how great the valuations are, of where that stock's gonna go, or that bond, or that crypto, because anything can happen to absolutely tank the market, or as we've been seeing, propel it on just just a fire range, but just taking off and running, and that's what we've been seeing. Now, what do I think? Well, of course, for those who know, I told you I'd be loading up on something, right? Well, of course, we see this, we see the Oh man, this is always scary too. Look at the greed chart. We're up to 73. It was a 74 a little bit ago today. Up to 73 now. We're almost in extreme greed. Folks, every time we get up here, I'll tell you, this is sell to me and extreme sell to me. And that's what I do with my portfolios and my uh, stocks, the higher risk stocks. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but I have quite a bit of long positions. I don't think people realize that. I think they think it's uh, all all in uh, short, and he's just that's that and the other thing. I'm not. I have a well-rounded, well-diversified portfolio. But the one thing I really want to do is I want to get super aggressive with my bond holdings, and that doesn't just mean triple leverage and the highest risk. I do want to take advantage of some of the things out there, and that's what I'm looking to do. And so, uh, what's one of the things I'm going to be buying with that? It's this. You guys know this. TMS1, TLT. Uh, TLT is just a 20 year without the, uh, without the leveraging. And then you can do this for the high risk people. And you can see. And I'm going to show you what I'm expecting. So you can see at one point, this back in 2020, we were, all the way, we were way up. Now we're down to 83%, right? And if you actually look and think to yourself, okay, well, how much can this go in like a year or two, Mo? Well, if the Fed does the right thing, you can see this thing's up 210% between those two years when the Fed was more conducive to helping the treasuries. And so I believe we'll have that again. And we saw a little bit of that here. And then of course we saw up 47%, it was a good run. And then all of a sudden we realized inflation wasn't going the right way. It was supposed to be transitory through the summer. It was not. Then we realized, oh, right here, that, that was the last day. The Fed said, we gotta get aggressive. We gotta crush this. And they, and they did. And it got to this point, 80% down from there. That was a huge loss. Now from there, we're kind of going sideways, 19.72% up, and that's been a long time. That's from October all the way up to June. And so we're looking about, what, eight months there? And so we got that. And we're gonna wait until, and I think the Fed is already super restrictive. I don't think they need to go any higher. They might go up one more. I doubt it, but I know the bond market has it priced in, so I don't argue with the bond market. I don't think they will. The bond market thinks they will in July. If they do, that's fine. It'll be more pressure on. Plus, we had the Treasury raising a lot of money. That's more downward pressure on it. So we got a couple things to go. And I think June's the worst for the downward pressure for the Treasuries being sold. I think the uh, Treasury is going to come out and just sell a ton in June. And so I'm thinking about a 30-day uh, put option on, some, on um, the overall market because I think that, and I don't do options usually, only when I want to take some real big risk. And I think this month's gonna be a, a red month. I think it's gonna be a nasty red month from here on out. And because now the treasury can do its thing here starting yesterday, and they, they're gonna to continue to do that to fulfill those coffers and get them back up to about 500, 600 million. I think a lot of it's gonna happen in June, then July, August, and September, they'll probably do about the same amount that they did in June. And so that slows down. It won't hurt TMF as much after june so that's what i'm looking at so i shared this with you let the family know what's going on and of course uh, you can let me know down below what do you think you know what's what's one of your biggest misses you have ever had that you did on your own uh, research and that's always one to think about and of course what did you hit 
Let's talk about some good ones too, remember? I made 90 to 100,000 on plays that people said, oh, you're crazy in January. By the end of the year, it was up a ton. And then it made a little bit more going into 2022. So we have some good plays out there. So let's share some of them here as a community and understand even, even poor old Kathy Wood out there, she missed out uh, on one that went 170% in a matter of months. And she said, hey, it's overvalued. A lot of people trust her. Uh, even she misses them. So we all out there have a lot of to, to think about when we make our portfolios. I like mine well diversified, good mix of crypto, bonds, and equities. And of course, right now, I am more bearish than I am bullish, but it's close. It's close in terms of what I want to do uh, because I want to get bullish in bonds. And I know some people think, what, you're going to go bullish in the market? No, I think the market's way over bought, but and that's just my opinion. I think the bonds though are where it's at. And that's what I'm looking at. I'm actually looking at getting into some other stocks out there around the world and taking advantage of that, which that's a whole different video. All right, folks, if you haven't done it, get those free stocks from Moomoo. That's one, of, like I said, $100 cash coupons. Awesome. And then, of course, the we have the Weevil stuff down below. And then come on over and join me at the Patreon. Or you can join me here on the YouTube channel as a member. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.